So sometimes if I get this jump right, I can actually clear the tree. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> That's exactly not what to do. going guys dre here and welcome back to carried away now this is a little bit of a different carried away because we're checking out carried away winter sports this is uh, a free-to-play version of carried away that they released and it's actually quite different because we're doing winter sports instead of building ski lifts so in celebration of the winter olympics they released this game free of charge and i thought it'd be really cool to check it out today because one of my favorite things in carried away is just skiing itself so obviously having some winter sports in this one is going to be pretty interesting now this is kind of like a demo it's not a very large game but you gotta remember this is a free-to-play one so if you are interested in carried away want to kind of check out a free version of it uh feel free to download this one and uh yeah it's it's pretty damn fun. So I have done the first two levels, which are kind of like uh, training levels. We've seen how Carried Away works before. If you had, didn't see my other videos, uh, link will be in the description where you can go check out the actual Carried Away game. Uh, I guess we can start with freestyle training, though, just to get a, a hint at what this game's all about. So we're going to have a bunch of different winter-related sports that we have to do. This one is snowboarding. We have to get as many points as possible by going off of this jump. I've been trying to do a double backflip. But I keep breaking my jump, so maybe we should work on that a little bit before we move on. Now, what's really cool about this, though, is you actually get a leaderboard with everybody else, and you can see how you compare to the vast population, and it kind of works like an Olympic game, you know? Obviously, the top spot's gonna get the gold medal. We also got building stress over time. There's a lot of interesting uh, information in this game now, so they have been updating it quite a bit since we last played it. But let's just reinforce this just a little bit so we can maybe actually do this jump and uh, get a higher score. If we could do a double backflip, I just want to see how high on the rankings we would get, because one backflip... Puts us at about 200. Okay, that was a... Uh, maybe I should try a front flip out. I, I seem to be slowing my uh, rotation down when I try and do a back flip. All right, now that I've been playing with it, I really don't think we're going to get the double back or front going on. But I do like... I don't know if you've noticed, but air time has to do with the score. So the higher you get for air time, the better you're going to do. Okay, now, now I've, I've really screwed up my ramp here. Uh, let's see if... I, I feel like jumping at the start gives us a little bit more speed. And... Oh, oh, come on. All right, I changed the trajectory on my ramp. Let's see if this helps at all. Ooh, we're going to get lots of air at least, but still, we're not getting enough uh, height to really get any higher. Mind you, I got to 123rd. That's not bad. We got a lot more to check out today, so let's see how good we can do at the other sports. I think this one, uh, the trick to fast bobsleighing lies in solid construction. Okay, let's start by delete, deleting the old construction. Okay, well, that's probably important. And you can also undo, yep, yep, there's a bumpy road ahead. Construct a smooth course in order to help the bobsleigh across the line quickly. Anything below 13 seconds is considered fast. Good luck. All right, so I need to do nice and smooth. All right, so let's adjust one thing at a time. We're definitely going to want to keep our steep curve going on so we can keep our speed, but we have a lot of humps and bumps, as you can see. So obviously, the first thing we're going to want to do is just kind of slide over this. Oh, okay, so can we just keep going? Does it matter how much money we spend? I guess not. It's the Olympics, right? All right, that looks like a very nice bridge. It's nice not having to worry about spending money. It's still a little bumpy, as you can see. Oh, now it's really bumpy, but uh, yeah, that might be good. We, we can obviously fine-tune this later, so now we got to deal with this little guy here. So what I'm going to do is try and keep this as angled with the ground as possible so we don't add any bumpiness to our ride here. The thing about bobsleighs, like she said, it's all about uh, keeping that momentum up. So we'll do something like that for right now. Oh, I love what they did with this building. It's been a while since I last played. Okay, so I think I figured out a way. It's kind of weird, but uh, that seems to actually work. So let's see how bumpy this is. It's all about... Watching how bumpy these little dudes are. See, that one we can definitely fix a little bit, but that's going to keep a lot of speed, and hopefully we can utilize that speed. Okay, keep everything nice and straight. There we go. That looks fantastic just like that. All right, so we just got a bridge across this gap. I'm not going to add any jumps or anything. That might actually lower our time depending on how much momentum that adds, but... We'll see how good we compare against the competition here. Let's see if that bridge is good enough right now. All right, going for our first legit run. See, not too bad for the bumps. It definitely gets some air. That probably slowed us down quite a bit there. Oh, my God. 
Okay, how do we do? Leaderboard won't show up, so let's just uh, see if we can fix this a little bit. The biggest thing is, well, we were getting... Well, I we can't really fix it too much because we were going so fast, we actually got air. So, I, that's, I guess that's really a good thing. The only thing we could really fix is the bumpiness on this. So, let's see kind of where we can fix that. It's definitely that, that little incline down. But aside from that, there really is... Oh, what just happened to my other ramp? Okay, well... 36th place, not too bad, we got a gold medal. I wanna try again though and fix those few small issues that we got. Whoops, what a, Jesus, okay, they, they, they really changed the controls in this. All right, and just trying to organize this guy a little bit, just make it a little more smooth, that might be good. I don't know if I fixed the other ramp, but if we can dwindle off a little bit of our time, that was much more smooth as you can see. Still getting some air here. Might want to fix that a little bit. Oh, yeah, but we're staying nice and close to the ground. 1023, was that better? It ha must have been because we came in 24th now. And I love that it shows current and previous. So I'm pretty happy with that placement. Uh, I'd be great if we could get a top 10 here, but uh, that's going to take a lot of strategizing. So let's see, what do we got next? Time trial. We need one skier across the line, and we also cannot kill any of our riders. Well, that's unfortunate. Is this skiing? Yes, okay, so it's skiing. We actually do have to control it. Starting off strong. <laughs> do we do we get the build here? Okay, we do. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna build the world's largest bridge out of jumps. That's uh exactly what we're gonna do here. The benefit being these 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 can be built into bridges, which is pretty cool. And I just want to see if this is sturdy enough to be held up because this is a very large bridge. And isn't that the most beautiful jump that you've ever seen? Yes, that is indeed a bridge, but it's said to be a jump. Oh, look at that thing. No problem at all. We saved some time there. Oh, keep it. Oh, okay. So that really slowed us down there. We might want to fix that later. But it's all about, oh, trying to hold your skis so you don't bail like that. Did we technically win? I guess not. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. Coming down. This time, I'm not going to kill myself. And how did we do that time? 146th. Wow, okay, so people are, what's the top? 12.52. So somehow we shaved like three seconds off of mine. That's pretty damn impressive, actually. Okay, so there we go. Just trying to smooth that ground a little bit, making it a little bit easier for myself. Honestly, I don't know what else we would really need because like there really isn't that many issues with this whole situation. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's a little bit better though. Jump down that, hold it. Oh, a little bit of a bounce at the ending. Maybe adding a landing pad might be smart. We dropped our time down a little bit there. Not too bad. So what I'm going to do, because this is kind of bumpy, I'm just trying to be as competitive as possible. This is actually making me competitive, the whole uh, style of this, which is really, really cool. I'm usually not a very competitive person, so kind of shows you that this leaderboard system is pretty damn cool. So my my logic here is even if we get some air, we at least land on this, and it's a nice flat way all the way down. Might need to actually expand this out a little bit. Let's do that. Let's go one more down. And just like that should be perfect. There we go. So we just need a little bit of a support here. Can we do that? Yes, we can. No big deal. Uh, we'll put double supports on this. It's really, from what I found, the jumps are very, very sturdy in this game. So it really isn't that bad to build some very big things like this with the jump materials. So that should be good. Let's see if that's any better now. Here we go. Just gonna go on, on a nice Sunday drive over my little ramp. Up this, there we go, get some air. Yeah, there we go. Man, how is he gonna get, that's crazy to me that the, the first place guy shaved two more seconds off that. I really, I, I guess it all comes down to the jumps and the skill with the actual rider. All right, I'm gonna try one more quick thing. I'm totally guesstimating where these guys are gonna land. Hopefully it works out here. Let's just put that like that. Don't know if that's really changing anything. I was gonna add some more to it. But that should be good, just like that. That's definitely way too many legs on this thing. But that should be a good landing pad for our second jump here. So this is obviously really slow, but we're shaving off time going down into that hole. Oh, okay. So we definitely need to lower that a little bit. Well, my bridge just broke, but that's okay. Ooh, there we go. That was a much smoother landing. Are we going to beat our time? Yes, we are. 1361. That puts us in the top 10 
Oh, that's all I wanted was one top 10. Let's move on and check out the rest of these sports, though. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to be as competitive now, but I probably will be just because this is so fun. But now we got some long jumps. So we got to get a gold medal, medal, which is 500 meters. I think we can do that, and we can't kill any riders either. So, oh God. Uh, well, goodbye, guys. It was fun. Wow, you guys are really stuck in there, aren't you? Not too bad. Good job, guys. You did it. 0 0.7 meters, hell yeah! That is, uh, that's pretty embarrassing. That should be the, the last spot on this list. I hope it is. All right, but I think we should be pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at keeping my momentum up when it comes to these type of ramps. We're gonna be going nice and slow at the top, so we wanna make this quite steep so we get lots and lots of speed, and then we're going to slowly pull out of this, and hopefully... I mean, that's going to give us so much momentum, and hopefully it doesn't kill us. I want to change this a little bit, make the make sure the landing's nice and smooth. That should be good, though. I think that is a really nice-looking starting ramp. And then long jump start. Do I Should I put a jump on, too? I guess that would be smart, yeah? But we're probably going to be going so fast that we might... Let's just try this and see what happens. Obviously, we should have a jump at the end here, though, too. Okay, first test, here we go. Oh, yeah, a little bit too fast, actually, and obviously we didn't get any speed to do any jump. We got 2.5 meters that time, a little bit better. 385th place. All right, so let's go for a long distance. So we're going to want to make this as close to the... Oh, wait, that's as far... I can't, I can't even go that close to the pole, unfortunately. I think that's honestly all we'll need because we'll be getting lots and lots of speed. So we got a nice running ramp. May as well just put a very basic jumping ramp on this, and let's see what happens here. Can I actually... I can't make these guys duck or anything, so we're basically just watching these guys. Obviously, I can fix that a little bit. That's much better, though. 27 meters, I have no idea if that's good or not. Let's find out real quick. 120 second, we could definitely beat that. There's a few things we can fix here. Okay, adjust the angle a little bit. That... Ooh, we actually got a little bit of speed at the end there, but I feel like almost we're getting too much trajectory. That was 30 meters, though. That's a lot better. How'd we do? Ah, oh, it's not going to show us. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That's fine. Okay, I think this is going to be the final one. Can we beat our record? That's the big question. And ooh, that was a really nice trajectory. There we go. 31.4. What does that give us? Who the heck knows? Let's try again here. I want to see if we can beat that, though. All right, yeah, now we're just doing worse. 29.8, so I think we're going to end that one here. Let's move on. Bobsledding's pretty cool. I want to see something else, though. Freestyle, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, skiers across the line and riders safety. All right, so obviously this one's all about the skiing. I have not built anything yet. I just want to kind of see how much speed we're going to be getting. Oh, wow, okay. Is he still alive? No, he's definitely dead. That, that, that would be a dead guy. So obviously what we're going to want to do, this has a nice curve going all the way down. It starts to get a little weird right around here. So we're going to utilize that to start increasing and not hitting this wall so hard. So we can kind of just maybe even jump over it. Well, that's the whole point to jump over it. But I don't know if we're getting, we'll get enough speed to do that. Let's see what happens here when we try something like that maybe. Is that, is that all we need? It's hard to tell. I think one more should be good. All right, let's give her a go. This time, I'm actually going to try and jump. Wow, yeah, I guess we do get a lot more speed than I thought here. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, tree, it worked for me. Oh, my God, that was amazing. I love the tree hit there. 204th place, well hitting a tree, mind you, and utilizing that tree to our advantage. We, we actually might be able to do some more tricks on that tree. You got to remember, this is all about tricks right now. So uh, let's see if we can hit that again. And bam. Oh, come on, land it! <laughs> 1624! Oh my god, you guys are way too good. I thought I was doing something great there, and I'm I'm still only in 48. That was a triple front flip, wasn't it? God, how am I supposed to beat that? I don't think I can, guys. Oh my god, too much air! Too much air! I'm gonna die! I'm dead. <laughs> oh man! That was some serious air, though. So sometimes if I get this jump right, I can actually clear the tree. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> That's exactly not what to do. There we go. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to have to slow down. Oh, did we land it? Is that considered a good one? We still didn't beat our score, though. That was only 1284. What the heck is the top score here? And how'd you do it? 3,826? What, what? What? Did you do like a 900? Are you... I, I'm gonna... Can I, can I actually... That'd be great if you could watch the replay to see. 
Uh, unfortunately, you can't do that. So we're moving on. There's no chance of me doing that one. Still, 48th place in the world is not too bad. How many people have played this? Does it actually say that? Let's see if we can get it to work here. 412 people. So, you know, top 10%. Not bad. All right, next up, we got another time trial. This one, it's looking like, yes, we're a snowboarder. So actually, we... We might not even need to build here, but it probably would be smart to do that since we're slowing down a lot now. We could obviously make this course a little bit better. Okay, so yeah, we definitely do need to build a little bit to get to the end. All right, so first uh, shortcut done. My logic is why well, go down this hole and do a jump when we can just do a jump here and uh, keep the momentum up. So hopefully we'll make that all the way over to here. We can land in here, keep our momentum up, and we got to... Uh, where is... Okay, so that is the hole that we uh, got stuck in. So we were going really slow here. So I'm going to have to build, I think, another little bridge all the way across this. Something like that should be good. That way, again, it's all about the waves. When it comes to, you know, keeping time down, I feel like you want to keep your feet planted on the ground so it's not as bumpy and keep the waves going. Keep it as smooth as possible. All right, so that should be good just like that. Let's give her a go here and see what happens when we try this. So I'm going to try and jump this. Oh, okay. Wow, I have, I have not used a snowboarder in this game very often, so... Kind of hard to get used to, actually. There we go. All right. Was hoping to get a little bit more air on that, but that's fine. There we go. Go down that. And to the ending. Yes! Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see how we did. 45th for the first try. So I'm just going to do one thing real quick to see if it will improve our time a little bit. We're going to add a little jump there. See if we can land this a little bit smoother. Therefore, you know, shave down our time a little bit. So here we go. Here we go. Just want to land it. Yes! Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Keep that nice and low, and jump to the ending. Oh, no! Oh, it didn't even count our time either. We we actually was way faster than that, so we might be able to do a top 10 here. Okay, let's try that again this time. I mean, this works great. This is the perfect landing right here, and I just want to keep this nice and low. I actually don't want to do too much of a jump here because it's a waste of time. There we go, ninth place. What? Wait, what? Oh, okay, 10, 10 seconds. I, I, I thought I got nine seconds, but yes. Uh, first place is still way faster than me. Almost two seconds faster. Damn, man. All right, we're back with another long jump. This one, uh, wow, look at this drop off here. Now, obviously, we're not going to want to go down here because it's just going to go straight up and we're not going to get any distance. We can try it, though. It's going to be fun. At least we got that going for us. But yeah, as you can see, this is basically a quarter pipe for uh, skis. So I'm sure you guys know by now what we're going to be doing. Keep it nice and smooth and uh, see if we can get a good jump going on. Mind you, this is going to be a crazy build because look how high off the ground I am. Oh, isn't it beautiful, guys? Don't you love my design here? It's, uh, wow, this is taking a long friggin' time. But, uh, yeah, none, no bridges are easy in bridge builders, that's for sure. Even when you're trying to build a jumpy bridge. Uh, let's see, we do that, that, that looks pretty good to me. Up here, we don't really need to worry too much. Uh, I did do some top triangle beams ahead of this, just in case we want it. And again, these don't have to be perfect. It seems to be pretty sturdy regardless, but you obviously do want them somewhat straight and somewhat uniform. So there we go. That should be uh, hopefully enough to do this jump. I'm hoping we get so much air. I have no idea if this is the best way to do this or not. We're going to find out real quick if this is good or not. Oh, hold on, there were 42.5 meters? No idea if that's good or not. Is it 20th place first try? I think we might actually, what's, what, what's the top spot? 52, 42, that's an extra 10 meters. That's quite a bit, actually. We only got a bronze. I'm feeling pretty confident in myself, but now that I think about it, that is a lot of distance there. Let's see, come on. If we can beat 42, that'd be great. 45.3, you know what? I think we might actually have this if we do some fine tuning. Ninth place already. Oh, man, that's a lot of air. Are we going to get the distance we need, though? No, unfortunately, that, that air actually slowed me down. So, you know what? Let's uh, change the trajectory a little bit. Keep trying here, and it's all about the jump at the end. It's not so much about the bridge. It's about that final hit on that jump. 44.4? That's a lot of fours there. I think my best was still, for yeah, 45.3. Man, we're so close to the top, and I feel like... With some fine-tuning, I could definitely do it, but I don't want to sit here for an hour doing jumps either. So, we'll see. Come on. Oh, oh. Damn it! 44.5. 46.5. Is that my best? That was my best. Four. Damn it, I tied with sixth place. 
Oh, I, j I just wanted a real bronze medal. At least bronze. Unfortunately, bronze is still four meters away. There's no chance of us getting that. Still, we're doing good. That's three top tens already. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, you know what? I think we did a lot of them now. Let's go check out how many we have left, actually. I want to try some of the later ones. So we got slope style, long jump silver. We just did a long jump. So let's try... What's parkour? That's the final one, so you got to assume it's going to be difficult. I kind of like the idea of that. So, time trial. Uh, another time trial here. We have to collect one star this time. So, we do have an objective on this one. Uh, so, it looks like... Oh, it's literally just like we have to avoid things that are... Oh, God. No. Oh, it's legit. We can't build. We actually have to do this. How? Sorry, but that's actually impressive. Out of resource. Yeah, we can't do anything... So, wow, there's a lot of things we have to avoid here. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, guys. It takes a lot of... I can't even do the damn picnic table. Okay, I can't even pass the damn picnic table. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, damn it. Okay, now we're on the next part. This is way harder than the rest of them. Obviously, it all comes down to skill with the rider. Oh, oh come on. You're, you're still okay. You're not bleeding. We just. Okay, now you are. All right, guys, I think I found my problem. I'm just awful at everything but building in this game. When it comes down to pure skill, I, I can't even jump a freaking picnic bench. So I think if I was a little bit better with the actual controls of this lady, it's very hard to get her. I guess you have to jump and then pull up your legs so you can actually jump over it. I was able to get over it a couple times, but now I'm just, I'm just screwing up royally. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, now jump. Yes, jump. Yes! Oh god, tree! What do I do? Oh! <laughs> Get out of my way! Oh my god. Okay, I think I think I give up, guys. Parkour is just not my sport. Alright, but I gotta say we did pretty good. We did the vast majority of the levels, and out of eight, we had three top tens, so I gotta say. That's pretty good. So this was Carried Away Winter Sports. Again, uh, we're going to wrap up this one here. But uh, if you do want to check out this game, it is totally free on Steam. And of course, if you want to pick up the real game uh, with over 70 levels, that's on Steam as well. Links will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this winter sports game. It's always fun to uh, do some winter sports while the Olympics are going on. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.